Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and there has been a lot of information over the past week, including yesterday and today about new products, iOS 14 and other things such as WWDC 2020. So in this video, I wanted to cover when iOS 13.4 is probably coming out and some more information about an iPhone nine plus. Now, the first thing is WWDC or the worldwide developer conference. Every year, this is held at the beginning of June and usually held in a conference center around San Francisco, but this year it's been changed to be an online keynote only. So every year they'll show off the next version of iOS. So in this case, it would be iOS 14. We'll see the next version of Mac OS. We'll see watch OS seven, Apple TV OS 14, iPad OS two or iPad OS 14, and maybe some other things along with apps as well. And that's usually done in a keynote where you can watch it online. And so of course, the more information we get about that, I'll let you know, of course, but right now we don't have a specific date onto when that will be, but usually it's at the beginning of June. So we'll still be able to see iOS 14 with its list view that we may see. And this is just a mock-up that I did myself, but you'll see, you could have an alphabetical list view in iOS 14 of all of your apps and you could search your apps and things like that. And so that will be shown off along with any new features and major changes with iOS 14, of course, with Mac OS and all the others I mentioned as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. And thankfully we'll be able to download the betas probably just like we normally could. Now, other than that, iOS 13.4 looks like it's going to be coming out probably tomorrow based off some code that people have found. Now that code was found in iOS 13.4 beta five. So the 13.4 release date could be as soon as tomorrow. I was checking my iPhone uh, 11 pro just to see if it had come out yet, checking it today to see if it was available. And I didn't really expect it today. If you're watching this on Monday, the 16th, but I do expect it tomorrow. So some of the reasoning for that as well has to do with a product that Apple announced today, and that is power beats. Now, yesterday people found power beats in a Walmart where they have power beats. Now these are power beats pro, but power beats are similar to these but have a wire between them and they allow for 15 hours of battery life and things like that. And are about $150. Those are available Wednesday and will be available through your local Walmart, through apple.com and other sources as well. If you want them. Now the catch with that is you can't really use all of the features with it without having an update to iOS 13.4. So some of the icons are not correct. When you connect it to Bluetooth, for example, your icon wouldn't show the new power beats. So it looks like they'll have to update it for that. So again, expect 13.4 tomorrow. Now, if you're having a problem with your iPhone, you're not going to be able to bring it in to get it physically fixed at an Apple store. They're all closed until March 27th around the world, unless you're in China. So those stores will be unavailable, but if you have local repair shops and you have a broken screen or something, you can bring it there or you could repair it yourself, but you'll have to wait a little while in order to get that done. So just in case you're having issues, I'll link to all the different documentation that Apple has in the description below. Now there's been some brand new information at the time of recording this video, just before it actually of a new entry level iPhone called the iPhone nine plus. So it looks like Apple may be coming out with an SE two plus. I think it's going to be iPhone nine at this point, but iPhone nine plus seems to be hinted at in the code of iOS 14 and some other code that nine to five Mac found. So this code shows an iPhone nine plus, which would basically look like this iPhone eight plus have dual cameras, have a 5.5 inch display with a home button and basically all the features of an iPhone eight. Now, whether or not the iPhone eight, an eight plus go away and then just get replaced with a nine. That seems to make a lot more sense to me, but it looks like we're going to have an entry level iPhone that's less expensive, maybe around $500 and would be available fairly soon. And based off all the information we've had, it looks like Apple may be doing a week of releases. There's been some information about new AirPods coming out. Now these may be pushed later into the year. It's hard to say at this point, but there's continual information about new AirPods light or AirPods third generation, or maybe an in-ear AirPod that is not noise canceling. It's really hard to say at this point without more information, but there is continued information found about new AirPods that are not previously available. So expect those other people expect maybe a new MacBook air with the new keyboard, along with maybe a new MacBook pro or the 14 inch MacBook pro as soon as this week. And that wouldn't surprise me if Apple does that, but again, you will have to actually order it online, have it delivered and then pick it up that way. 
Now, as far as the new iPads Pro, and this is just the prototype model that I have with the triple cameras, expect this to be sometime this year, but there's new information in the Eura Eurasian database that this has shown up. And usually when that happens, the actual launch is imminent. So whether or not we see that soon or later this year, it definitely looks like it's getting prepared to be released. And then finally, there's a bit of information about the Mac Pro. And that means if you have a Mac Pro and you bring it to an Apple store when you can, they may not be able to service it because they haven't had training with it. And I've found this to be pretty interesting since I own a Mac Pro, but also Mac Pros are not in the stores, at least locally where I live yet. In the Charlotte area, I haven't seen a Mac Pro, and I also have not seen a Mac Pro display, the Pro Display XDR. So if they haven't seen one physically, they've never worked on one since they're fairly rare and very expensive, I wouldn't expect them to know how to work on it. So there will be more training, that's usually what Apple does, and new Mac products usually don't have too many issues, especially on the pro side. So usually that stuff can be fixed with software as opposed to having hardware failures. So I would expect all of those things, iOS 13.4 as soon as tomorrow with all the new updates and things. And of course I'll cover that in a separate video like I always do. And then maybe we'll see some new products released throughout this week. And if we do, of course I'll keep you updated on that. And if there's anything specifically you'd like to see, if people aren't showing it on their channel, be sure to let me know and I'll see if I can get my hands on them. But if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description as I always do. And let me know which product or software update you're looking most forward to in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.